you can do it. Stop coloring your hair. Go natural. See what it looks like. See what it feels like. I can almost guarantee that you will love it. You will love it. And it will matter not what anyone else says because when you're in love with something, nobody can, no, nobody's feedback will affect you. So you can fall in love with yourself all over again. Hopefully you're in love with yourself now. <laughs> but when we stop hiding, seriously, hiding something that's true about ourselves, and that is our hair color, when we stop hiding the truth of that, then, um, and that's not a judgment. That's just, I've been doing it myself, you know, just thinking it was the right thing to do. And uh, when we stop doing that and we come clean, wow, it's so refreshing. It feels so, so darn good. So, and it doesn't matter if your hair's curly. It doesn't matter if it's this kind of white, this kind of gray. It's not going to matter because when you own it, when you own it, that you that you're go, doing something deliberately authentic, and just wanting to reclaim some truth about who you are, this is this is it. This is really it. Then um, nothing can nothing phases that. I remember people coming up to me saying, uh, "This one person, not a lot actually. I got mostly. I got. It didn't really matter. I didn't care if people were complimenting me or not. I liked it. I liked it. I felt free." It was a huge relief, and uh, but I had one person talk to say like, "Oh, looks like you're letting your hair come in," kind of like very, <laughs> and it's like, "Yep, I am," <laughs> and uh, I kind of had a good laugh about it uh, in the moment, and then later because it's like, "Yeah, you, that's not apparently you're not ready to do that," but that's okay. That's everyone has their own timing. Um, and I'm just here to support people that are questioning, like, should I, shouldn't I? Because I really researched it. I really, God, I drove the guy that cut and colored my hair crazy asking him every time I sat down. All right, so what do we have to do? All right, what's the process? What will we do? What will it look like? You know, trying to get all the information ahead of time to make the, to take the leap. You know, and uh, try to find books on it. This is even, this was years ago before there were, you know, that, that you could Google something. Or at least it seemed like I couldn't. That wasn't that long ago. So I guess I could have Googled it. And I'm sure I did. But there wasn't much information out. I couldn't find much anyway. And uh, I, there was a book written. And it, it didn't turn me on to like, yes, go for it. It was like, oh, you make me feel more questioning as I read this book. So don't read that book, whatever it was called. <laughs> Listen to me instead. And the message is, take the leap. Take the leap. Stop the color. Stop the dye. Stop thinking you have to be different than who you are. Let it shine. Let yourself be. And it's in your own, your own unique coloring. And oftentimes people will say, oh, well, if my hair looked like yours, then I would do it. It's like, I didn't know that my hair would look like mine. <laughs> you don't know what your hair is going to look like. Um, that's the trusting part of it, you know? That's the trusting part of it. But I saw a woman that had similar hair, a little bit more curly than mine, uh, years ago. Um, and uh, and I thought, wow, that looks really great. And she had a, 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 a you know, she, she wasn't in her 90s, you know, she wasn't in her 80s. I don't know how old she was. But she sure looked beautiful to me. And, uh, and she was natural. And I thought, how much better can you get than that? So, um... That's it. That's my pep talk today. Just do it, do it, do it. And a different pro talk to the person who, who cuts or colors your hair now. Um, talk to anybody you want to that you see that is natural and ask them how they did it. And, uh, you know, there's all kinds of uh, transition processes you, that you can go through, uh, depending on your hair, your original hair color, you know. And uh, because mine was so dark, I didn't want it. To, I didn't want it to look like I either had to cut my hair cut this short, you know, to get rid of the get rid of the um, dyed hair um, when it finally started coming in. So I did a transition process uh, where they removed some of the dye, and so I had like a highlighted, no color in certain in lots of my hair, or kind of bronzy, goldish color with the black. It was pretty, and um, or so so I thought. And you know what? I didn't care anymore. Once I made the decision, it didn't it didn't much matter. I was pleased and I was surprised that it actually looked as good as it did as it was transitioning. Um, 
And when I look at pictures now of what it looked like, you know, I can clearly see the difference between my own hair and the tr even the transition hair, you know, which were multicolored. Um, and uh, trying to make the gray, you know, incorporate into the, 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 the uh, dyed dark hair. Uh, so I look at pictures of, pictures of me from then, just a couple of years ago, and I uh, think, oh, it doesn't look that good. I thought I looked better than I did. And you know what? I don't care. I didn't care then, and I care less now because I did it. That's all. So that's it. You have to just make it. Once, once you make the decision, when you really feel like you're ready, um, but don't wait too long because I was actually ready probably two years before I did it because I was afraid because I had nobody to tell me, go for it. This is what it can be like. This is how you can make it easy. This is uh, how you transition. No. I, um, so, so I'm here to make it easier for you, I hope. And uh, yeah, just go for it and enjoy. Um, and like I say, when you claim it, when you own it, like, yeah, you're doing it, then the people outside that give you feedback are truly feeding you back any doubts you may have in your mind. So be clear in your mind. This is what I want to do. So that when someone says something, they're just tapping into maybe a little unsureness inside you. So you'll attach to that when you hear it. Like, oh, maybe I shouldn't, you know. No. Make the decision. Feel good about the decision. And you know what? The default is you can always color it again if you really dislike it for some reason um it's not what you thought it was going to be or whatever you can always color it again so there you have it no reason not to try it you know it's like money back guarantee so that's the message be well